good afternoon everyone hope you all had your lunch and ready for the third session and the last session of the uh, conclave spectrum 2023 uh, today we have with us the third speaker for the day mr vikas shivare sir so i'll just give you a small introduction of him he is a professional with an engineering background and having 15 years of work experience in automotive industry since 2007 he has been working in different tire companies like bridgestone jk yoko Homa Indian Private Limited. He has worked in different fields in the manufacturing sectors like industrial engineering, production planning, control operation, and quality department, business excellence. He is also playing an uh, exclusive role in training and development in the industrial point of view in the organization. So we are happy to have you, sir, and looking forward for your session. Over to you now. Okay. First of all, very good afternoon to each of you, and uh, thank you for joining this session. I'll make this session fruitful for each of you. So let me start with the presentation. I'm sharing my screen. If any issue for sharing and visibility, please let me know. Okay. So before starting any uh, this session, I just want to know the all the audience, all the members. I think the 59 participant is there. I hope you can see my slide. Is it right? Yes, sir. Uh, I want uh, this yes from the students. Those who are there. Can any anybody from the student side can tell me they they can see my presentation? Yeah, it's visible. Oh, thank you very much for giving input. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will start my presentation. Uh, as already, the introduction has been uh, delivered to you. Uh, my name is Vikas. I am from the automobile uh, background. I have more than fifteen years of experience in a different in the different section, different sector. I have been worked in the manufacturing as well as the quality. Now I am leading the business excellence department in my organization. Coming forward for the presentation, uh, our topic is importance of the quality management system at the present scenario and uh, five years implementation. This background already delivered by the Ashna ma'am, so I am not going to deliver it again. Okay, what is our objective in the presentation? So these are the objective and these are the session outcome which we are going to discuss one by one. So we can say as an index, like we are defining the quality and the quality management system. What is the importance of the quality and the difference between the quality assurance and the quality control and the continuous improvement, COPQ, uh, that is the cost of poor quality and seven QC2. And I also share a little bit about the ISO 9001-2015. Beside this, I will also add the five S certification systems in the organization. Before starting, I would just want to know with the some of the students or many uh, of the students they can uh, tell me. Uh, maybe few of you already belong to the manufacturing sector, right? Or they have been worked in uh, manufacturing for the internship or maybe for the experience. Is it right or wrong? Are you relate me these things with the manufacturing or not? Just I want to know what is the background. You understand my question, students? Students, you can interact by unmuting yourself. Yeah, one by one. Uh, we, uh, construction. I want to know the background of the students. Sir, with twenty years experience in construction, Suresh here. Okay, hi. Thank you very much, Suresh. Anybody else? Hi, sir. Good afternoon. This is Jagmeel, and I have been twelve years of experience in manufacturing sector. Okay, so we can relate a lot. Uh, Sir, your voice is not uh, clear actually. Okay, uh, is the voice is still not clear. Clear? But no, it's now okay. it's clear. Okay, Sorry, I'll, sir. I'll, I'll try to keep the mic. Sir, like it's, uh, Sir, it's better if you try without headphones, earphones. Is it okay now? Yeah, yeah, yeah this no, is perfect. Okay. Perfectly fine. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for giving this input. Okay, so uh, I am even also more comfortable for discussing in this way. Anyway, so most of you, maybe the many of you, belongs to some construction from from the operation field as well, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Some, right. some of them, right? Right, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and uh, I'll try to connect those people who is not having a background of manufacturing or something. So I'll let them uh, see the quality is not only important only for the manufacturing; it is also important for the non-manufacturing as well for the service sector as well. So I'll keep my session alive for each of you, so you can get some good information during my session. Okay. So I am, without taking much time, I'm moving forward. So uh, before moving forward, I want uh, input from my students. Uh, I'm considering you 
maybe you all of some of you are the senior but i'm considering all of you as a my student for the one hour right so i just want to know any one of you as a volunteer please come forward and tell me what is qms yeah i said german this side Hi. qms tell for the quality management system yes hmm. right right anything Preeti else here. i'm also saying the same preeti this side yes, quality so management system two. okay This is something related to ISO, sir. International Standards Standard Organization. No, QMS. somebody is also okay. This is also okay. Thank you for uh, giving this input. So let's understand the quality management system with the video. So I am trying to keep this session interactive. So I am considering two, three videos during my uh, session. So let's start with the first one. uh one more announcement to you students whenever you are not talking please keep yourself on mute to avoid the background noise noise yes please keep mute when i ask you can unmute yourself thank you i am starting video kindly look at the video very carefully this is andy andy has a business making orange juice and these orange juices made fresh served cold and is well orangey and juicy so how does a business like andy's benefit from the application of quality management this is the handy guide to by the way up that's it quality like many businesses andy manages a process to form a product which he sells obviously it involves oranges Andy knows his business like the back of his hand, but he thinks improvements could be made. The problem is, where to begin? So he begins with Mandy. Mandy is a quality manager, and she and Andy will be knuckling down to find out how to improve the organisation. So what do we mean by quality? Here are some handy tips from Mandy. Quality isn't only about how good Andy's orange juice tastes. It's a word that applies to every system, process and practice that delivers a product or service to a customer. Quality means delivering efficient systems and increasing profits. Meeting or even exceeding the customer's expectations. A quality professional like Mandy starts by exploring what the customer wants. Is there a difference for instance between what the customer wants and what the customer gets every customer is different and andy needs to keep them all sweet ah three of andy's customers aren't satisfied but why luckily mandy's got some tricks um up her sleeve quality professionals design processes to gauge and respond to the customer's expectations Andy's orange juice is served with juicy bits in, but Mandy discovers that 30% of his customers would actually prefer their OJ smooth. So Mandy has a solution. This is the Juicertron 4000, the Turbo Juicer for smooth juice or juice with juicy bits. So, with the help of a quality professional, Andy's grown his business, kept more customers, diversified his product, and improved the production process. And he's no longer a one-man band. Let's see how they're doing. With all those thirsty customers, Andy has to keep production ticking over like clockwork. Juice output has doubled, but there's always room for improvement, and quality professionals like Mandy are constantly on the lookout. Even small changes can make a huge difference. Together, Andy and Mandy have raised productivity, satisfied the customer's needs, 
increased profits and kept the workforce happy. Andy and Mandy seem to have clicked. And so Andy can now think about how to grow the business even further. The quest for quality never ends and Mandy is ready to meet any challenge. Quality and good business go hand in hand. So, hello students, have you seen this video? Yes sir, we see it. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is the outcome of this video? Why I have uh, pasted this video here? I just want to know whether you understand the purpose of video or not. So anybody can, uh, as a volunteer, please come forward and let me know. Yes, sir. So what do you understand with the video? Uh, it's a management mm -hmm. of quality and time management by he innovated the machine and he increases profit. Okay. So one of the good uh, answers. Hi, sir. Uh, yeah, please. This is tell me your name as well, huh? without giving any answer. Uh, before giving any answer, please tell me your name. Yeah, the well this side, sir. Okay. Yeah, uh, we observed from this video that uh, one uh, individual has started a business and uh, mm. he is doing uh, traditional practices. And he is not okay. uh, looking into the customer satisfaction. He is not improving his system processes. He is serving okay. with the traditional uh, procedures. Okay. And all the meantime, a uh, quality person came into his, uh, his, his cycle and he teaches him how to lean your process, how to improve your customer satisfaction, how to take the feedback from the customer, how to listen the voice of customer POC basically. And yeah. on the behalf of their uh, feedbacks, you have to uh, set the bar higher of your quality. Okay. Very nice answer. Uh, may I know your name again? Mr. Jagmeel Singh. Mr. Jagmeel Singh. Okay, okay. So, you can call me Jaggi. okay, then uh, you just text me your name. Okay. So, uh, yeah. see, a wonderful answer has been given by Mr. Uh, sorry, I don't recall your name. So, uh, the main purpose of the video, what is the quality management system? Is Quality management system is nothing. It's uh, all about the meeting the expectation of the customer. And... Uh, during uh, meeting the customer expectation, you must involve some innovative techniques and you can remove some of the mudas. So if you are uh, just go through the Google letter after this session, just try to identify what are the what, are, what kind of mudas is there. So there is seven kind of wastage. The muda is a Japanese technology, the Japanese terminology. So seven kind of uh, wastage is there. So these are uh, we need to identify the mudas and we need to do the innovative techniques, right? Right. Uh, yeah, anybody would want to tell, add on this? Yeah, muda is the waste. So you need to yeah. remove nice. the waste uh, and uh, keep the processes as lean, as as yeah. uh, efficient as possible. Yes. So that you get the outcome, the customer satisfaction, quality, uh, cost, all these being the factors. Right. So in the video, can you tell me which muda they have removed? Yeah, they have uh, removed... Uh, Basically about time management and uh, the people. How how do you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very correct answer. Yes. And uh, yes. yeah, you Not can see moment. they remove the they bring the both customer and the supplier or the item just together huh? nearby. The muda of motion has been removed, right? And the muda of wastage also because because uh, before the many of person or the many of the customer they are not interested to drink the pulpy juice or maybe the without pulpy. So there is a wastage of the juice as well. Okay. Anyway, I'm not going to detail in the mudas, but uh, the I just want to tell you with this video, the customer satisfaction is the one of the major aim of any quality management system. Coming forward. So quality management system is a collection of the business process focused on the consistently meeting the customer requirement and enhancing their satisfaction. It aligned with an organization purpose strategies, these directions. So you on the right side you can see there is a pyramid of the document, the hierarchy of the document, right? On the top side there is a QMS overview. The second one is the policies, then the principal processes and the work instruction standard and guideline. So QMS consists of the quality assurance and the quality control. 
so before moving the next slide i just want to know can anybody anybody of you uh, tell me what is the definition of the quality see i am going to keep my session interactive so i want to keep involving you yeah please tell me now. anybody please hi sir and, yeah uh, again jagmail from this side jagmail singh yeah i i, I yes. see your name now okay jagmail tell me <laughs> yes sir uh quality as per my understanding uh, how our product is meeting to the decided uh, parameters or uh, their specifications how closely it uh, matching to their decided parameters yes okay how close to specification this is your answer anybody else can yes. give me the answer about the quality what is the quality sir it is more than uh, specifications uh, and standards sir it, it has to satisfy the customer uh, experience and customer uh, satisfaction also sir customer satisfaction anybody else and customer expectations uh, also the performance for the customer expectation right okay, performance for the expectation with uh, low cost okay vilas yeah. or or desired cost sir i will not say low cost desired cost desired cost okay anybody else quality is a responsible price quality is a responsible price uh now i tell you how it is our product for use yeah what how fit is our product yeah, for uh, fit, use yeah. or even we can say the fitness for the use but the purpose it fulfilling the purpose of the product right yes okay so i said that uh, every answer is right let's move forward so i'll clear it so what is the quality for me the quality is fitness for the use or for in larger view i just say the quality is just meeting the customer requirement that is the final answer and if you google it nobody can say the right information so let uh, first understand with the example what is the quality one of the customer requirement he ask i need an elephant the supplier from the marketing side he said can you please adjust a bit we have already providing similar product earlier customer no i need elephant only the supplier from the marketing side fine we understood your equipment let us see how we can customize existing one it for you the supplier marketing to the development team now the supplier from the marketing side he is communicating to development team so this example i am giving how to approach for the customer requirement to our development team so this is the one of the example to understand the quality so supplier from the marketing to development team the client is asking for a big black four legged animal long tail and less hair having trunk is mandatory rest all the features are supposed to be in base product developed earlier for the trunk alone customer customization is to be done so this is the guideline has been given from the supplier marketing team to the development team finally the customized product sample has been shown to the customer so they prepare the one sample and they will shown to the customer so you can see in the picture what is the customer requirement and what are the solution that we have given see he is the development team they told to development team have one trunk you can see on the right side the trunk is there have four leg four leg is there should carry both load and the passenger and the cargo carrying both and the similar black in color or black in color and should be uh vegetarian or something creating plant or something is the same so now the customer from the manufacturing side they add the value who oh, not only we are providing the solution to you and also our product is uh, supplying milk as well but you are not asking for the milk we are giving the additional benefit to you so just i am asking to my student whether this is a fitness for the use or it is the right quality which customer is aspecting the no, right answer no no definitely no sir no no, no. anybody is agree that this is the right answer no, no sir no sir no sir no sir so where the mistake has been done is uh, happened in pure communication mandatory what is the requirement uh, understanding the requirement of the customer learning the expectations mm -hmm. to the development team that's where yeah. uh, it's all there is a lot of thing na like voice of the customer aspect understand the expectation of the customer uh, somebody told me the specification so um, we not need to customize the requirement of the customer we need to adjust ourselves with the requirement of the customer 
and we need to check the exact requirement of the customer we cannot try to uh, manipulate the requirement of the customer right so fast mm-hmm. delivery also is good answer but we cannot compromise with the requirement right so i believe uh, there is a big gap between the expectation and the reality right it's not matching the functional and uh, yeah it's not sir sir it's not, not matching it's yeah, not yeah, matching yeah. the functional yeah. and psychological requirement of the customer right right absolutely right sir but that's why it's uh, sir that's yeah. why it's the degree of satisfaction of the customer yeah that's why the degree of satisfaction that's why we are taking for the feedback form and all things. but uh, i think we all are on the same flight form now we understand the quality definition right so definition of quality in a quality definition is not in easy to define right so uh, because it's vary from customer to customer so we can quantity we can define easily but the quality depend on the customer point of view let's understand the definition of quality one more example So there is a two person, Mr. Prabhu and Mr. Virat. So Prabhu needs six apple, but he need all six apple and should be of a dark red color. So he defined the characteristic. So what are what quantity he need and what kind of apple he need? So we define the quality, the quantity, and the quality. Quality of the color, right? And the Virat is asking also. Virat also needs six apple, but he need all six apple within the one kg. So for him, the only the quantity is matter. So For me, I'm just want to tell you with the example. The quality is nothing; it's just a requirement of the customer. If we satisfy the customer with this requirement, that is the quality. That's it. Right, student? Can I move forward? Yeah. You are agree with this uh, yes, example, or you have? Yes, sir. 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 Yes. So these are the quality gurus. Uh, everybody know the Mr. Deming, Mr. Am, the Mr. Ishikawa, and Walmart uh, Shivat and uh, Joseph Duraz. So they were they actively participate for the quality improvement. Some were for the quality assurance, some for the philosophy development, some for the uh, cost and effect diagram, some for the techniques uh, for the quality control. So these are living the example and the feedback. You can Google it on later on after this presentation. So why the quality is important? the quality offer the comparative advantage below the benefits like it improved the innovation so it give the opportunity for the innovation it motivate the talented workforce and reduce the wastage and increase the efficiency and the profit the quality direct increase the market share and play game changer in game game changer in the competitive market so before going to the next slide i just want to inform you now in the market na uh the market scenario you now everybody want to make their own product and and everybody want to be success in their product but the only one thing can make the sustainable and that is the only the quality now the quality is game changer inside the market for any kind of product so that is my overview anybody is disagree with this so he can tell me right away can i move forward now yes sir okay so why business need for the quality the quality give advantage to the business retain the customer for the longer run of course we will maintain the quality the customer will become again and again to us produce quality product and the services expand customer base and operate to reduce the waste and decrease the expenses so why business need quality so again i want to understand the benefit of the quality in terms of the company what are the benefit to the company and what are the benefit to the customer the product deliver to the client with the consistently meeting their requirement so he will be more satisfied right client may have reduced the cost from the lost sale due to the return because what are the numbers he has sell to the market from the dealer to the individual that those product will not return back to him so he is also very uh, much satisfied with this the client may not auditing the company there may be the cost for the auditing also reduced because if you have major uh, customer complaint or many uh, return from the customer for their product so they have to go to a different audit so this cost also can save for the customer benefit the com- benefit to the company company may gain the market edge company may can reduce the operation cost due to the less reduction company can manage its risk of product failure in the market so what is the third point na once the company get the benefit and also the 
belief from the customer so they can do the hit and trial and the customer and the client they can believe so whatever the company do in the changes for the risk that can support it can not get failure so this is a benefit to the company and the benefit to the customer as well okay so sorry before going to next slide i just want to know before i am already discussing about the quality quality management system that is, that consists of quality assurance and the quality control so i want again one of the volunteer please come forward one or two you just tell me what is the difference between the quality control and the quality assurance sir quality assurance is the promise uh, uh, before every project okay mm. we have to mm. make a promise to the customer that the quality is as per the standard so it is a uh, it is not the actual thing that we are doing inside actually mm. i am a quality engineer so mm. i can tell it more uh, so the quality control is the thing that we are doing actually controlling the quality uh, for mm. the manufacturing product or inside for my case okay. so this is the difference okay quality quality assurance is the plan and quality control is the execution i mean if i make it uh, break it down a oh. very simple language Yeah, okay. almost right. Yeah, anybody else? Sir, yeah, quality assurance is about the outgoing call, right? What exactly the customer is going to get? So it is about mm. the getting the right quality and the delivering the right quality to the customer. So generally, whatever we are making, so obviously there might be some five to ten percent rejection, right? So mm. uh, we have to restrict that. So that is about the quality assurance, right? Mm. But uh, as a quality uh, control, actually, it it is depend like the during the production also. a uh, quality guy will be there and the stage wise they try to maintain the quality and they try to reduce the wastage or the rejection yes so that is about the improving the processes uh, removing some wastages and the training to the operators or the whatever we want to change in the in the system so that is about the quality uh, yeah quality qms or the quality management or the yeah we can say Okay, Sanjay. Hi, yeah. this is yeah. Preeti. Please. Uh, I would like to say, in short, that this quality assurance is a fixed kind of process because we are assuring that it is quality assurance, and quality control is a continuous process which we have to continue to keep our customers satisfied and improve ourselves, improve, improve take the improvements in the business. Okay. Anybody else, Mr. Uday, you want to tell something? हेलो दिस इज विजय विजय ओके हाय यू वांट टू समथिंग अबाउट इट या क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस इज द बेसिकली द विजन एंड ऑफ द कंपनी इज टू व्हाट यू पोर्ट्रे व्हाट अश्योरेंस व्हाट इज द प्रॉमिस दैट यू विश टू डिलीवर टू द कस्टमर दैट इज क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस सो वेयर इज क्वालिटी कंट्रोल as somebody pointed out reducing the waste it's a continuous process you have to keep improving so that is a basic that's a basic minimum standard that you have to follow that is quality control okay thank you very much for the input from the individual uh, see uh, quality assurance uh, most of you has uh, relate with the commitment from the company to the customer right and i would like to add something with uh, quality assurance right and quality assurance is working on the system approach and the process so he need to understand the what kind of system we are following what kind of approach we are taking what kind of tools so not only the tools what are the you know, processes we are following so there is a different process for the making any product but we need to see the quality assurance need to see what process we are adopting for pro pro providing the least wastage so and the quality control is mostly works a continuous process of course and it's worked on the tools and the techniques which we are using for controlling so it's all about the proactive and the reactive approach just you can see the slide you can try to understand the quality control is a part of the quality management focus to fulfill the quality requirement defect bug identify karna act validate and focus on the identification of the defect and the it's a reactive approach and while in the quality assurance it relate to how the process is to be performed or how a product is to be made so they are working on the processability and the how the manufacturing process has been followed so there will be limited waste or the limited rejection they are working on the preventive ways the plan verify focus so this is a 
proactive approach quality assurance while the quality control is a reactive approach i am not saying you are wrong or everybody is right but uh, this is uh, my understanding and we can relate our both understanding for this okay so as you said it's a continuous improvement right quality control is a continuous improvement so what is continuous improvement the continuous improvement need to be continuously revised according to the customer requirement see what i am saying this uh, uh, what is the quality system is quality system has to be revised and revisited again and again if you see if you heard about the documentation there is a one sop so that is the sop stand for the standard operating procedure and it's a live document and when <coughs> there is a change in the customer requirement so there is document we need to revise so there is a different document like pfa mea control plan sop so these all are live document so why i am telling about this continuous improvement uh, you might heard about it nowadays uh, diesel engine has been stopped in the automobile sector now they are more focusing on the petrol engine because because of the government norms second thing they are doing some changes as per the next level of vs label so they are changing in the engine side as well so it's a continuous improvement the all the vendor company even the maruti and the other automobile industry they need to change as per the government guideline or as per the customer now the government has played as a role of customer for the automobile industry so they need to be design their system according to change to do the continuous improvement for uh, deliver the right product so before moving forward i am uh, want to discuss about the copq okay so again i want to involve someone can you tell me about what is the full form of copq and what it means i think something already yes there. sir so remember this side copq yes copq stand for the cost of poor quality yeah and it means that the cost and the value we are spending in the rework in repair or in rejection or uh, the uh, rework or rejection in terms of uh, uh, utilities in terms of our material in terms of manpower in term of uh, that every rejection we are happening we are doing is uh, it converted into the value it has some right. value so right. we are right. term it right. as a cost of poor quality yes. sure sure yeah, i think you have explained very well jagma jagmeen and i am very much impressed with your answer the copq is the rightly said uh, the cost of poor quality what are the rework we have done like rework product return goodwill cost return loss warranty cost loss and the rejection these all are the cost of poor quality in every company or every in every sector maybe in the lubrication or automobile any kind of sector everybody want to reduce this copq factor as minimum as possible so let's understand the copq with one video so kindly look at this video and listen this video so you can more understand about the quality requirement one of the most important ways to realize our vision of becoming the power base for sustainable growth and development is to embrace integrate and entrench quality in all phases of our project life cycle
Nancy and I are pain to the core of the tragedy of the shuttle challenge. This is truly a national loss. potentially had the best answers, so I know who's ass to kick. Quality is like our health. We tend to take it for granted and only notice it when it fails. As we have seen, it only takes one small error to have a massive disaster. Let me thank you for embracing quality and for doing everything in your power to ensure that here at this home and within Group Capital, quality comes first and that it becomes a way of life and work. So, have you seen this video, everybody? Yes. So, what is the outcome of the video? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can everybody tell me what is the outcome of the video? Yes. Quality first. And we are quality and then. Okay. What? So there is some disturbance is coming. I'll uh, request you those who are only replying, please unmute and rest. Please keep mute. Okay. So I just want to know uh, from other side. Yeah, Jagmail, any yeah. answer from your side? Yeah, like the uh, uh, yes, yes, quality. Yeah. So what do you understand from this video? 
yes there are minor mistakes we have made in process and launching right. a product can lead right. to a fatal failure as you shown an example of toyota corolla yes uh, recently i visited to bangalore uh, and okay. i personally seen that car cross section with that car okay. and the main reason of failure is that they are using the customized mat under the brake pedal mm. yes and the uh, and what company claim that they have uh, they uh, they uh, do the root analysis and they mm. bring on the point that mm. they have not instructed to use the uh, mat with mat, the same mat. company yes yes. Yes, yes 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 so that is the only communication error or we can say this is the yes yes is that bring into the fatal uh, accident or reaction cause as they have recall the uh, plenty number of cars yes for uh, river yes, yes. anybody else Pichy you want to side. add yeah, yeah. hi priti this side hi priti so i have noticed that uh, always you know prior or preventive actions are always better to yes. improve the quality yes. so bearing instead of bearing it later do yes. the prior or preventive actions but for the preventive action i was i just want to add on uh, you should know what are the risk involved then only you yes, can do the preventive right. action right Uh, it's yeah. about uh, risk and mitigation plans should be there right and uh, it obviously um, now actually the if we, if we talk about the uh, qms like quality management system right mm. and the uh, 9001 mm. so it has added that clause like a risk yeah, yeah. that clause uh, that uh, yeah yeah I, so clause has been added now yeah, yeah because it was not there and the earlier as you uh, uh, already told that it is a continuous process so obviously yes. as for the international standard also they are working on it continuously and yes. they are adding and uh, deleting something or adding something so they are doing that and uh, in the simple word uh, the quality is like uh, chalta hai nahi chalega hmm. then you right. need to change for the nahi chalega na right <laughs> yes so yes. we have to uh, add obviously there will be with the sop and the procedure will be there right yes. Yes. everywhere but we have to add her and uh, rigorously follow the sop whatever is written mm. and uh, we have to do that right absolutely right and uh, as you said uh, there is a two kind of customer internal and external customer right so we need to take care of the both kind of customer internal and external yes. and for an individual uh, there is short time i have seen there is one example of the well, uh, well cement were not tested for the time saving that cost and the time taking is only 10 hours but how much fatal he has generate or the that activity has generate they bypass the cement testing similar in the nasa case there is a o-ring failure but it is small equipment right this small improvement they can do and they can avoid this kind of failure and the big billion loss so the purpose of keeping this video that a small thing can make a changes in the quality so we need to follow all the specification and we need to all always look out the risk analysis so there is a certain tool to identify the risk analysis and there is already i told you in the some uh, gurus is there like ishikawa diagram na no? fish bone diagram where they identify the all the possible causes that can make it failure so to identify all the failure causes okay i am not going in deep out for this particular subject so i am moving forward for the my next slide it's okay right for all of you should i move forward sir, sir, sir yes, cost sir. of quality Yes, sir. Yes. Cost of quality versus cost of uh, poor quality. Hmm. So, okay. so uh, I I want to know, sir. Actually, that's why I'm asking. What? What? Sorry, I'm not getting. Co you. Cost of quality versus cost of poor quality. Hmm. So, so want I want to difference? I want to know. No, sir. I want to know. That's why I'm uh, asking you. Okay. okay. Thank you for asking this. See, cost. Uh, the cost of poor poor quality already your teammates has been uh, given the right answer so whatever the rework or the re uh, rejection we have generated because of the uh, generating the poor quality product that is the cost of poor quality if we are making 100 numbers of item and out of 100 the 10 item become rejected or uh, maybe the five is directly rejected on the scrap labor so that is the five item is the cost of poor quality and five item going to repair that is the cost of poor quality now you are asking for the cost of quality so cost of quality is nothing in uh, like what are the tools uh, what are the equipment for the additional inspections so something like digital or the platform or the camera 
or the high precise machine or the equipment we are installed in the same machine for further inspection or further uh, identify the quality for uh, ensuring the quality of the product so these are the cost of quality but uh, in the longer vision na uh, this going to be support if there is a less rejection so generally people are not talking for the cost of quality they are if there is a good organization good company they are always looking forward for the cost of quality and they want to invest in the cost of quality this is my point of view do you understand yes sir yes 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 sir so what are the camera or the digital platform or the inspection or the width camera or the different cameras different x rays different tools we are implementing of course there is a cost of implementing though but the organization should come forward and they need to understand the risk and accordingly they need to implement as per the machine requirement okay so i am moving forward for the next slide so how to address the quality problem the mr joseph juran he just it's just a answer of cost of quality so what he said in his philosophy the 15% error generated by the home end and the 85% is failure is generated from the system failure so when we are producing any product we need to understand main and machine there is a two parameter so in the machine it has been generated from the system or it has been generated from the main in india unfortunately we are more focusing on the main if any defective product is generating we just blaming the main why you generate why you not even uh, if there is a inspector or there is a quality person so we directly blame to quality person why not you stop sorry there is a disturbance from other side kindly mute hello please mute uh, your audio okay so why i am why i am adding this slide what the benefit uh, you try to understand the, as per the joseph juran there is a 15% error is from the home end and the 85% from the system failure now system is not only include the machine it also include your checking frequency and how you check and when you check what is the system you adopted to checking it and what are the tools you implemented those tools are adequate to checking those item or not okay this is the previous question answer somebody asked me what is the cost of quality this is the cost of quality we need to identify the risk in the system failure and we need to implement one by one so we can reduce a risk of 85% right there is a tool we can call it a pareto analysis and a pareto analysis you can identify what are the 20% item we need to or take that can directly reduce the defect by the 80% So that is a ratio of 20s to 80 to 80 rule is there. If somebody has gone through the Pareto analysis, they can understand and they can relate this thing. Okay. So my request to all of you, uh, wherever you go inside the factory, maybe you belong to factory from the directly or the indirectly, you need to see not only the human error. You need to understand the failure from the system as well. Like in previous video, you have seen there is system failure. Somebody not check the cement testing. so there will be cross check from the his superior somebody need to cross check whether he has followed all the norms or not so this is the just i want to add on this okay so thus recently i told you that there is a seven cause qc tools this is from the japanese terminology we call it seven quality control to like flow diagram check sheet histogram pareto analysis so pareto analysis is the most effective tool for identifying the problem it works on the 20 is to 80 ratio so if there is a one problem who is repetitive so he need to understand the contribution of that problem and need to resolve that problem prior then cause and effect diagram given by the ishikawa san so here is the fish bone diagram they are telling over the possible causes then the scatter diagram then is the control chart so Uh, anybody can tell me add on value on this do you have heard do you have work on this diagram before jagmail and uh, anybody else yes sir these are the regular practice yes, these sir. are the regular practice these are not new right yes yes, yes. yes. Okay. so now we are going for the uh, c uh, certification for the quality so there is a different certification like iso 9001 i am giving some of the few example I nine thousand one two thousand five fifteen. So two thousand fifteen is stand for the version. 
ISO 14001 2015, ISO 45001 2015, and IATF 169 169 but since I am from the background of automobile industry, I'm keeping this documentation in front of you. Okay, so what is ISO? Uh, before going to ISO, can anybody tell me what is ISO? It's the Indian Standard Organization. Standard Organization. Same like BIS. It's Internet, uh, International Organization for Standardization. International Organization. Identifying in uh, making standards for quality assurance and uh, processes. Okay, so okay. the system is working now. The ISO 9001 is an international organization for standard, right? So, for the India, we are following the BIS Bureau of Indian Standard, and also many companies now they are certified with the ISO because they need to sell the product outside the, com outside the country as well. So, that is a mandatory requirement which the company should be listed with the ISO and should be certified with the ISO 9001. And, uh, there is a certain clause, right? Before going to close the ISO family, I just want to let you know. There is ISO 9001, then the ISO 9000, then ISO 9004, right? So, compatibility with the other, other standard. Uh, other standard. See, now there is now, there is an integrated management system is implemented most of the companies. Now, the rest of the companies are also moving forward for this system. See, ISO 9001 is individually related for the quality management system. Like ISO 45001, it's for the OSAS, no? Occupational Health and Safety. And this uh, ISO 14001 for the environment, environment Management System. So now we are moving forward for the integrated management system. It's a center point of this whole three standard. So this is for your updation only. Now for the process approach. Uh, I always talk about the process approach. Uh, if we are producing any product, suppose we are producing any pen, just a simple pen. So there will be some input, there will be some uh, activities, there will be some output. But there will be control at the both input and the output. So what kind of control should be there for the input and output? Anybody can tell me. Raw materials. Yeah. Raw materials like that, raw materials, sir. Yes, of course. Yeah, control on the raw material and for the output, control in the final process. Yeah. Yes. And we have to uh, also control the processes. Yes. So we need to control the process. Also, we need to verify the product. So we need to check with the uh, specific tool, the specification, meeting specification or not. So that is called the process approach. So I think you all aware about the PDCA, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Plan do check it. Plan do check it, right? So I just want to give the live example of plan do check it. Uh, you can see this is the one of the MHE. The MHE stands for the material handling equipment. So in one of the factory, this MHE, where they are keeping the material, uh, this belongs to tire industry. So this is the top part, part we can call it as a cap trade. It is a top pass to, uh, which directly in, comes into contact with the road. Before the capacity of this uh, role, you can see about to be for the 36 tire. So now the management has given the challenge. We need to increase the capacity from 36 tire to 48 tire lot size. So what they have done? So they need to plan what we can do in the same existing equipment. That they need to do. In do part, they need to implement some changes. In the check part, they need to check whether those changes become fruitful. For the certain time, they need to check the result on the daily basis, maybe for uh, maybe for the 15 days, for the trial period. They need to check whether this is result is positive side or negative side. On the act, so what is the action? Act for the action. If the project result is on positive side, so they need to implement horizontally in all the process, all the MHE, all the relevant processes. And if it is a negative, then he need to rethink on the plan. So he need to recheck what action we need to take again. So this is the philosophy for the PDCA. So this is the example. So what the industry has done, you can see before the diameter was 750 mm. So they reduced the diameter from 750 mm to 400 mm. 
So there is a saving of 350 mm diameter. They re reduce the diameter, but beside of this, they have checked Mary parameter. This is the plan. They have done the reduce the diameter. They are in check condition. They have checked the condition during the operation and also the end product result. So they check the end product result as well. And accordingly, they have done the acting, right? So do you understand with the example? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From this. Okay. So now, what are the benefit of implementing? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, please. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what is the SDCA? SDCA. Yes, this is the PDCA, na? Right? And yeah. there is something called SDCA. Actually, I wrote read somewhere, but I'm not kept uh, able to correlate with PDCA. Nah, no, sorry, I am also not aware about it, and uh, I have bit knowledge, so I don't want to involve. Uh, I don't want to compare okay. because I don't have much knowledge about it. Sorry, you just yes, but I'll uh, through your uh, mentor, I'll let you know. Thank okay. you for thank you, sir. So, what are the benefits for implementing ISO 9001? Identify the risk and the opportunities, increase the efficiency, compliance with the legislation, improve the management, performance measurement, and the improved customer relations. So, ISO management principles is worked on the. There is a few principle for the ISO implementation: the process approach, engagement and the competency of the people, improvement, relationship management and decision making, and the leadership. and we are we are focusing on the focus our fo main focus is the customer requirement so in my presentation i just share for the process approach but this is the less availability of the timing and the uh, presentation slides so i am not involved with this all things but only the process approach i have uh, in, uh, informed you and uh, please uh, go through the different website and try to get this information as well so what is improvement uh this is the one example of improvement i just put during the covid 19 na see covid 19 versus uh, virus can survive for the 12 hours on the paper whereas up to 72 hours on the plastic in the so somebody has designed their uh, improvement on the bed so there will be less risk of the covid 19 just an example right so in improvement also try to cover every time the Involvement of the innovative things, so you need to think innovative. It's not required the huge investment. Sometimes very less investment also uh, play a vital role in the improvement. So please think uh, out of the box. So let's understand the ten clause of the ISO nine thousand one. So first is the scope. There is a narrative difference, terms and definition, the constructs of organization, leadership. planning support operation performance evolution and improvement and somebody uh, from all of us has told about they now include the risk management as well so uh, this is all about the iso now i am moving forward for the five years so before moving forward for the five years anybody want to ask anything till now for the presentation Uh, sir, there are uh, five four tools in actual mesh. Now we haven't discussed about that. Yeah, five core tool. Yeah, yes, actually, uh, uh, we are more interested to uh, hear about the five uh, core quality tools mm -hmm. like yeah. PIP, PFMEA. Yeah, PIP. I was See, thinking that will be the part of this uh, class. Uh, I never uh, include those things in like PIP, PIP, QP. You are talking about, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, but uh, those are uh, itself a big topic like PP, PP, QP, and uh, is all out from related with that uh, automobile industry only. So I am not involved those topic five core two, but let uh, maybe next time I'll try to involve. Uh, for the one session, it is very difficult. But as the subject of this class, uh, the, as the subject of this class as a quality management system, na. So okay, we are waiting for that. Oh, so you are expecting that topic. Okay, uh, sorry for in the name. I'm not aware about this, but uh, see the PPA, PPQP, and this course itself is a big topic. So uh, we need uh, maybe more session for this. So I'll discuss with your mentor, and uh, maybe in the coming future we will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
sir i have a question regarding the iso management system is it about the quality system or is it about the management uh, see quality uh, what is quality iso individually a different system but it support only the quality only it's a quality management system uh, one of the uh, certification so it's ensure your company or your product or the, your organization is delivering the right quality to the customer that's why every industry need to follow this uh, iso 9001 these are not a uh, different thing both are same thing it's a need of quality management system you should have a iso 9001 or maybe the different certification right okay 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 sir ओकेस्टमेंटली Sun, it's been derived. It's a ten. Japanese, Japanese terms. It's yeah. a five Japanese term in which yeah. we or workplace organized method will improve the quality and efficiency of our workplace due to using uh, with using of five S terms. It's a five different type of uh, terms in Japan and also with uh, converted in English. Short, sharp, sign. Uh, standardize and sustain okay so uh, i just want to know uh, do you understand whether the uh, organization now is going for the 5s certification yes come uh, yeah organization can go actually even anybody like uh, uh, i i was working in a uh, as a professor in one college engineering college so mm -hmm. they are certified as a 5s so certifying what is are there and we achieved that level so we can have the five year certificate also very good so is there any benefit to implement the five years obviously it is like uh, means uh, getting the uh, right thing at the right time like uh, like in a computer also we have the some uh, documents and files some music files some uh, good photograph file some uh, study material so we have to organize like that in a different folders right like a uh, related subject wise we can have the different study material semester wise we can have so we can find it it's, it's like a storing and retrieving at a means a frequently rate so it will help yeah it will help uh, for finding and uh, there is no time for the searching right yes uh just let me i'm just going for the as my, many of you is aware about this so 5s is japanese terminology it is stand for the seri siton siso saiketsu and sitsute in english short systemized sweep centralize and the self discipline in hindi everybody know that the chatai suvastit sankana mantikaran and anushasha so this is the five s philosophy but most of the organization is uh, taking certification for the five s nowadays and they are getting benefit for uh, taking this certification so there is a different agency in the market and very less agencies available inside the india those who are certifying the company or the organization they are uh, up to the mark of the five s expectation or not So these are the some glimpses of the example which I am giving for the Amaraja battery. This is the Amron battery. I think you already heard about it. So the, I pasted few photos so you can understand that they they launch this is five S launch. So they have they are they are sharing the progress of the five S. Then some visualization improvement, workplace man management. We called it as a workplace management. So there is a marking uh, for the label different. There should be marking of the zebra with the mandatory requirement. Now every item to be kept at the right place. The same like the display board, it should not be hidden, and nothing to be kept in front of the display board. So there is some standard guideline for the five S. So these are the few example I just pasted. It. So uh, just a few photos I am just pasting it. I am just uh, keep you aware that nowadays uh, the five S is also equally important as the ISO and the other certification too. So. whenever uh, you get this opportunity you have a discussion with the management please try to go for the 5s certification and it's not just easy like a 5s definition it's very hard to get this uh, certification from the registered certified body and it will definitely give you benefit in terms of improving the efficiency and reducing the mudas 
yes i already earlier i already spoke to you and uh, reducing the searching time as well for any documentation and also for the inventory reducing uh, many benefits is there so that's all from my side thank you uh, this is my mail id you can write it and uh, if you have any question till now you can ask me sir thank you so much for the session i've enjoyed it a lot thank you so much and uh, you. sorry i am not aware that you are expecting pp pp and uh, five core tool apqp and all uh, i'll try to keep those uh, for the next time onwards yes sir yes we'll definitely get back to you and have that session as well uh, students if you have any question regarding quality management or anything sir is with us for uh, 10 minutes also so you can go ahead and ask your questions if you have any hello sir it's uh, maidi from uh, goa i have 15 years of experience in quality so i would like to know how to address human errors in the root cause okay so you want to know how to add the human error in the root cause uh, uh, how to address a human error so mm -hmm. what are the actions that we can uh, take for a human errors okay uh, see sir uh, for me uh, i'm just starting uh, if i am in place see i uh for me first we I, i would like to go with the cause and effect diagram so when we are doing the cause and effect diagram where we identify the possible causes it's also include the now main machine method material then the 4m and now also the money also involved, right 5m so in the main side you need to identify the what are the possible causes what are the common error can be done with this so you need to make a list and we need to validate on the shop floor yeah. or same side yes i got your point but uh, we have already identified and it's a human error that uh, he uh, one of the product he has not measured and he has written a nominal value against it and uh -huh. he has clear the product uh -huh. right so see sir uh, again for this na it's see we are all are human we can make a mistake on the repetitive activities if suppose a person is measuring many times in the same item sometime he can write a wrong value it's very very much common so we what we need to see we need to see how we can imp implement the system approach how we can uh, do the poka yoke for the same how we can implement the digital uh, confirmation for the same so if uh, we can do something for this so we can do this and for improving the human there is certain methodology sometimes thinking uh, some certain uh, system is there like poison cake test so for improving the skills of the team members or for the operators we need to go uh, make a certification process we need to certify him by giving the different task at the different frequency so that is the only thing uh, we can do there is two way one is the system approach we need to develop the system in such a way there will be no outflow outflow means there is no defect go inside the market the first uh, the first thing we need to go as a reactive approach we need to train our operator and we need to give training and retraining and we need to do the more certification that's all and you can also involve the poison cake test poison cake test what it what it means uh, you need to give some time uh, uh, defective product to him and he need to measure if he pass it then you can challenge him and you need to recertify that is the things okay thank you sir thank you so anybody else having a question otherwise we can close the session So, Bhagishree, ma'am, uh, can we close the session, or we have more questions? Let us uh, have uh, maybe two more minutes. If students are having any question, okay, okay. I will wait for this. Anyway, the session with the student is was. Uh, we are in time, Edri. Yes. And I know that everybody was came after the lunch, so I understand. Sir, I have one more question. uh as uh, we are into manufacturing uh, there is a lot of scope for the production people to show the improvements in the cost mm -hmm. by uh, using a variety of uh, consumables other than the raw materials direct on the product mm -hmm. so how quality person can show the improvements in the cost because uh, we are limited to the inspection of uh, part like we are using vernier uh, and uh, uh, other equipment gauges yes. so how we can uh, address the cost effective improvements in the quality scope see 
uh, this is always a challenge for with the quality team huh? so for me uh, see uh, now i am days uh, playing a role of the business excellence leader so maybe your organization may be having the business excellence or uh, the first time talking about the platform the business excellence or maybe the hr function one of the role to the total employee engagement and the motivation of the employee this is a one of the critical factor they need to work on this and uh, uh, there may be different platform where they motivating those team members or the members now for the quality front uh, how we can include uh, how we can relate our activities with the cost see there is a tangible and intangible benefits and also sometime uh, this question is strike to us that we are not directly impacting the quality cost we are just directly impacting the quality but you know mention there is a uh, definite formula for the copq once you measure the copq uh, there is a different uh, separate formula and also the excel sheet uh, is there uh you just uh, there is a two terminology things gone right and things things gone wrong tg and tgw then you can list out the activities then you can relate with the copq where you can measure the copq and the copq is directly the cost impact for you then you can showcase to management that uh, we have uh, saving the cost by reducing the scrap or the river this is my answer for you thank you sir are you getting my point or not sir yeah i got your point sir, sir please uh, calculate on the basis of copq and please uh, showcase to your management and also give yeah. platform to your team that they have done the very good job and uh, the people or the everyone need to understand na the quality play a vital role inside the market so it is the only tool which is sustainable inside the market otherwise it's very difficult to sustain inside the market yeah anybody else having a question हेलो सर या मिस्टर किशोर हां सर अपार्ट फ्रॉम फाइव इयर्स सर आई हैव हर्ड वन मोर इयर्स किशोर नाउ या योर वॉइस इज सॉरी नॉट ऑडिबल बट आई अंडरस्टैंड योर क्वेश्चन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिक्स इयर्स राइट सेफ्टी यस सेफ्टी राइट यस सर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट या यू टेल मी प्लीज योर वॉइस इज नॉट ऑडिबल प्लीज यू टेल मी वन सेकंड हां सिक्स इयर्स राइट सर so okay that is success the success is a see uh, since i am working in the japanese uh, mnc uh, they always follow the safety and quality norms the everything is start with the safety we have a different culture for the safety like daily safety message and daily communication with the safety and any sister plant incident is happened we need to call commun- communicate many things so safety is a big subject i am not going uh, what are the activities or what are the best practices we are doing inside the factory but uh, now the 5s is not separate from the 6s the 6s is stand for the safety in the safety we are doing the daily checks what are the equipment is there so whether we are following or we are checking all the emergencies like a plate emergency or the different kind of uh, emergency equipment is there on the machine so whether those, those machines equipment uh, safety equipment all are in working condition or not so this is the main uh, main purpose of 6s to involving in the with the 5s Yes. Sir. Right answer. Uh, Kishore, yes, sir. Is, uh, answer is right. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Please include this uh, six days in your uh, check sheet while you implementing the five S, and uh, please give the same priority for the five S. It is not related only with the industry. It is also related with your home as well. Right. Anything else? Sir, so are you available on the LinkedIn with the same name? Yeah, I am no. Yeah, I am available on the LinkedIn with the same mail ID. Right? Okay, because I have some uh, queries to answer, but I I would love to uh, ask you personally. Yeah, you can mail me as well, and also you can uh, ping me on my LinkedIn profile. Not a problem. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Sir. Anybody else? Yeah, student. We can take one last question before the end of the session. Anyone? अशना मैम और मैं भी फ्रॉम द भाग्यश्री मैम आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कैन आई कैन यू रिक्वेस्ट एवरीबडी टू कम ऑन द स्क्रीन आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सी द फेसेस यस सर हेलो या जगमेल प्लीज सेम सर आई एम सुरेश 
So, uh, can you just relate this entire quality systems what you have just uh, gone through with the construction uh, projects, sir? Mm-hmm. Uh, how this entire quality systems uh, can be implemented in the present construction uh, management, construction project management? Construction project management. Uh, okay. See, uh, you need to see whether the ISO 9001 is applicable to construction or not. If it is applicable, you need to follow all the 10 clauses requirement. So, individual 10 clauses, there is a certain requirement for the customer point of view. So, it's a detailed document already available in the Google. Then you need to download it and you need to see the requirement, whether it is meeting or not. Now, how it can give the benefit? So, uh, see, the quality always gives the benefit. And uh, in construction, you might be using the different raw materials for the construction. Sir. Right? Yes, sir. But for the, I think for the testing or of the raw material, there will be different kind of certification you might require, not only the ISO. ISO will not going to help for the testing purpose. So there will be certain NABL certified lab over there. Those who can certify uh, your testing material or the different, right? Yes, so sir. Just, uh, try to go, uh, please try to see from the, your uh, organization requirement. So I'm not uh, sure whether the ISO will give support to construction site or not, but uh, quality is important. ISO can, can be useful for all, all the activity means, sir. Even actually in our city. To construction? Yeah, sir, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. All yes. the construction companies, most of the construction companies are ISO certified. Yeah. ISO yeah. And I have one example, actually. I have, yeah. I have one example, actually. Hamari yeah. have a Smasan Bumi, yes, Smasan Bumi, will be ISO certified. Yes. Smasan Bumi. Okay. Uh, so ISO can be, means it can be implemented anywhere. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, Yes, uh, yeah, it's a generic. Yeah, anybody can use that. Yeah. I agree with your answer, but uh, of course, the leadership management decision also equally important. Obviously, obviously. So, uh, without leadership decision, uh, the management decision, you can uh, directly cannot adopt the ISO certification. And of course, it can, uh, it's going to help you. But for the testing of the raw material, you must need to see the different auditor, uh, not only the ISO. ISO approach is for the system or the documentation approach. It's a documentation approach. How to retain the document, how to keep the document, how, what are the uh, requirements you need to maintain for the, your uh, product. This all of it. Any other Sir, question? Let's hear. Uh, I want to ask one question. How yes. the effectiveness of the effective quality management system uh, hmm. will be measured? Okay. Uh, see, sir, uh, you can, uh, for me, it's an answer for me that the ISO 9001 uh, is not just giving the effectiveness, it's not for the effectiveness. See, uh, most of the companies nowadays, uh, everybody is taking the ISO 9001. But the thing is that uh, how they are implementing by their own, with their billing. Also, the top management also play the vital role in this. So what is the role of the top management? How they see the how to implement this ISO? So for the effectiveness, you can see the outflow to the customer. If you are in manufacturing, you need to see how many outflow or money effective product you have given to the customer, to the end user. You need to identify it. So there is a different technology you can know the, you, you might know about the Six Sigma and all, right? So we need to, we need to, uh, what Six Sigma said, we need to close up the process to the center approach. So wherever we produce anything, so there is a very less rejection. So he's talking about the PPM, parts per million, 3.3 parts per million, there is a rejection. Something. So there is a different approach, but ISO cannot guarantee you for the effectiveness of the quality. It's just a certification. But if you are taking as a, a seriously, it will definitely indirectly help us for the effectiveness. Thank you, sir. Any other question? So I would like to thank Jagmail Singh for asking very good question and very giving very good input throughout the presentation. And maybe many uh, one of the candidates is Preeti, uh, Mr. Vilas just participated, Mr. Mehdi has participated. And those who have participated for the good communication, I would like to thank. Maybe I cannot recall all the them. And thank you for giving this platform from my side to the Ashna and Bhagdishri Pandey. Uh, I am very much uh, interested to part, get part in uh, interaction with the employee, uh, the those already working. So I am also learning 
from them yes so yes as you said you want uh, the students to switch on their cameras so most of the students have just switch on their cameras so i would request my team to take a good screenshot with sir and students so i will request you to please uh, stop presenting so that you can get a good screenshot stop presenting this one uh and i just want to know somebody asked me the ppp and apqp can you raise the hand who has asked yes uh, this is jamil sir i asked for apqp okay. okay then we can yes, have a yes. session okay. yes definitely uh bageshri ma'am if you allow me to answer uh, actually there is a question from bilas sir that how can we measure the effectiveness of our quality management system if you allow me to actually i have some uh, thought in my mind if mm-hmm. you allow me to tell that uh, i want i want to do answer mr vilas sunday uh okay maybe in next two minutes <laughs> yeah sure two minutes are enough more than enough yeah uh, mr vilas sir as you ask the question that how can we measure the effectiveness of quality management system we have implemented in our system in our company right so there is a tool like uh, uh, told us pdca and plan do and check act okay and uh, the f- uh, last two uh, points in check and act what we are doing we are doing the planning we are doing we are doing the planning and action also but we will miss we miss uh, check and act in check and act we have uh, some terminology and some standards that like we have set some countermeasures and some targets if we are achieving the target we are not achieving the targets we are not doing the reflection meetings that is the major failure in uh, that leads to the failure of qms system actually Right. I have to agree with this. Maybe there is a different terminology. The PDC also support this answer, and uh, also as a Indian, just we are doing on the planning and do. Generally, we are avoiding the checking and act function. That's yes, yes. In our daily culture, uh, we uh, we yeah. also see, uh, looking uh, seeing in the companies that we are doing the planning. We are also acting on the do uh, point. What what we miss? <laughs> we miss check and act, and check is act is the key for that. Yes. Nine thousand one also based on PDC, isn't it? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, see, I was in Japan for a few days back, and I was in uh, in touch with the many Japanese delegates, and they always uh, believe to implement one by one things. They not believe to uh, implement hundred things at a time, so they cannot check and act. So they always believe to complete this cycle. And whenever they come to India in our plant, they are asking me. So why there is less check and act in place of we plan and do and plan and do? So this is our thought process. We need to understand. We need to improve. Thank you, Vagisri, ma'am. And uh, can I close the session? It's okay with us. Yes, yes sir. Uh, yes, I think the team must have taken this screenshot as well. So thank you so much, sir, for uh, having you. It was pleasure to have you for this Spectrum Conclave 2023. The insights which you share were really fruitful and helpful as well. So hope to see you next year as well for the Conclave 2024, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, sir.